This is Dream Speaker. It's a TTS bot that uses AI to clone my voice in real time. Hello. This is what it sounds like. Although not perfect, you can clearly make out what I'm saying, and you would be able to distinguish my voice. This bot is set up such that multiple people can use their own voices. This project actually started off as a joke. Me and my friends like to use a TTS bot so that if someone can't speak, they can still take part in conversation. I find that it's easy for people to ignore mute users because you have to actively monitor the chat. When using a TTS bot, people can better participate in conversation because you can actually be heard. The only problem is that it becomes more difficult to figure out who is speaking, especially when multiple people are using TTS. Yes, this bot does announce who is speaking, but hearing a distinct and Recognizable voice allows you to subconsciously link the voice to a person at any time in the sentence. Someone made kind of an offhand joke about making a TTS bot that used our own voices. I didn't take it as a joke. I took it as a challenge. As it turns out, this bot was surprisingly simple to get working. Instead of making a typical TTS bot, I decided to use a deep learning TTS engine and a pre-trained model so that I wouldn't have to go through the tedious process of patching together hundreds of short, real audio recordings. All the actual AI processing is from a project called Kokui. It's a super capable toolkit, and all of the credit for the voice processing goes to them. I'll have it linked in the description. To actually make it clone my voice, it needs a reference recording. Any recording will do, but I found it works best when reading the Fitness Gram Pacer Test introduction. Then, I test with some different phrases, and if the bot struggles with the sentence, I add to the recording my own reading of the sentence. Rinse and repeat, until it can properly speak sentences. After that, I just save the file as myusername.wav, and the bot automatically uses the correct reference based on the command sender. That way, only I can use my voice. After some playing around, I also added a command to generate an audio file using a set of custom voices. This voice is cloned from the announcer in Portal. This voice came from a public domain LibriVox audiobook reading. The model this bot uses was trained on audiobooks, so this voice works especially well and sounds quite natural. I'm very happy with this project, and I'm happy to report that it works wonderfully. I would love to host and run this bot publicly, but I just don't have the resources to run a bot like this, especially with the heavy computation required. However, I do have a Python script on GitHub, along with some instructions on how to get started if you want to run the bot yourself. That's all for now. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.